Danny. Mm -hmm. Same time I am, probably. <laughs> 746 at KNEB, and time for News Extra, brought to you today by Intralinks. Here's Kevin. Thank you, Dennis. Good morning, everyone. Patty Shaneman is down from Torrington. Always uh, look forward to seeing Patty. I don't see her enough since she's over there. But uh, nevertheless, I get a chance to once in a while see her, and uh, see her at the bowling alley, at the golf course, and all that kind of stuff. And uh, so you're running the 8th Annual Chariot Races by the Torrington Lions Club. We are. We took it over about eight years ago, and um, it's a fun event, and it's and it's it's just really fun to watch the horses run. They love to run in the cold, so that's a real, the weather's really uh, really good for that this time of year. But um, I like the best part is that raising money for our kids to um, have eye exams and help them with eye surgeries and things like that. That's the best part. Yeah, that's that's the whole idea. So uh, you'll have it on uh, Saturday and Sunday, and then there's a Calcutta on Friday night. Um, so. Uh, Right now, the, this is this is uh, becoming something that uh, there may be not a, quite as many teams now around the state of Wyoming and in the region as there as there used to be. Yeah, it, you know, um, the very first time I saw the race was about 25 or 28 years ago in Torrington, and the Shrine Club used to run it. And teams, it took all day. It took from 11 o'clock in the morning until 6 o'clock at night to run the teams. We used to get about um, 20 to 24 teams. And yep. now it's a very expensive hobby. Um, the horses are very expensive. It, the travel is expensive. And um, so it's just kind of a dying art. And um, some of the races, um, it kind of depends on the weather and, and how people can get there because all these people have other jobs. And so this is totally a... a a sport on the weekend for fun, but it is a dying art, and it's it's getting harder and harder to get people to come and do it anymore. Yeah, but nevertheless, you guys are doing pretty good this year. You have 12 teams, maybe 14 if you get a couple of teams from uh, Dubois, and you got teams from all over the state, right? Right. They come from Afton, um, Douglas, Glendo, Guernsey, and we have some teams from Saratoga, and then we have some local teams that run that still run. They pretty much just run for us anymore. Um, they do go a little bit to the closer teams like mm -hmm. Saratoga and all that. Yeah. But um, we, you know, we have. If the Dubois teams come down, we should have 14 teams, which would be seven races. That'd be good. That'd be great. And uh, so let's tell people. Uh, first of all, the Calcutta on Friday night runs uh, what? Starting at seven o'clock. It starts at seven o'clock and probably closer to seven thirty because um, it's a kind of a custom that the teams that come from out of town always have to stop at Lira's and in, in, uh, Lingle on the way in before they get to the highway. <laughs> and so whenever they I get can there, understand. Yes. I can understand. It's a great place. So we um, it usually it really probably gets to going about seven thirty seven forty five and then we'll have a Calcutta that night. Introduce the teams and they'll we'll, you'll know the matchups. Um, the matchups will come in tomorrow and then they'll we'll give that to the public on Friday night and then those would be the matchups for Saturday and then they will Calcutta in between every race um, at the at the track and uh, then that on Saturday night after the races the races will get over about four we'll meet at the Elks and um, have a, a soup supper dinner for the drivers and for all the public but if they want to come and meet them and talk to them do another Calcutta and the races start again on Sunday at 11 o'clock and they should be over between three and four on Sunday yeah, that gives uh, everybody a chance to get home and so forth. It's supposed to be beautiful weather this weekend. Maybe a little cooler on Sunday than Saturday, but not anything like last week. Oh, not last weekend. And, we, and you know, it just seems like you have to wear your long johns and you have to have your muffler around your neck because it usually is cold out there. This is in the open air out there. Yeah. And uh, But the good thing is, too, that the track, once you come in the track, if you are of the mind that you don't want to stand out and watch the horse races, there is parking alongside the track. So you can park from where the gate, they come out of the gate on either side of the track in certain areas, and you can sit in your car and watch the races. Yeah. All right. It's an easy place to find where the races are. And we got to give kudos to Bailey and Bonnie Shaneman because... They're the ones that provide the land, so let's uh, tell folks where they need to go. Yeah, Bailey and Bonnie came up and stepped forward and, and donated their land, um, I think it was five years ago. Um, it's one mile west on the on the highway from Torrington on the 2690, um, is it 2692? Uh, it's Highway 26. 26 basically. west. Anyway, it's one mile, north of, or one mile west of Torrington and one mile south and just across the river bridge, and then there's signs out there. There's signs posted all the yep. way. Really easy to find. Yeah, if you know where the rock shop is, Okay, and if you've been around this area, you know where the rock shop Everybody is. Everybody knows where the rock shop is. Well, the rock today. shop is west of Torrington. You just take a take, take a, a right there, and you go about another mile, mile and a half, and you, you're right there. Exactly. It's just a mile south, right straight. It's right straight. It's just a straight shot. Yeah. But, you know, again, we want to thank Bailey and Bonnie Shaneman. It's, it, is, um, it is hard on their land to let these horses run on, and we do appreciate that they've let us use our land, their land for five years yeah. for our yeah. project. Yeah. yeah, no question about it. So uh, it's a good project, 8th Annual. 
and uh, what you're thinking this might be your, your last time, maybe? It might be. Um, Bailey and Bonnie are not going to don uh, donate their land after this, and it's just a matter of that. Um, this is irrigated land, and Bailey has found out after the last several years that um, the, the horse races has compacted the ground um, pretty severely, and it's difficult to irrigate. And so they are not going to donate after this year, and hopefully we'll find that. some land somewhere else. Yep. But um, And we have run a few other places. We'll see what happens. But um, it is... Um, it is, we are so terribly grateful, and it is a hardship to give up your land like that for yep. so many years. Yep, no question about it. But this is, I mean, this is something that most people are not going to see, you know, any other times other than this weekend is chariot races. Exactly. I mean, you guys have had, on this particular land, you've not only had your local chariot races, but you've had state chariot races on this land. That is right. And once you get the state races, you get to have them for two years. And we had them for four years in a row. And then it went back to Riverton. And um, the, the club that runs this, because these, these teams are getting ready to run World. Mm -hmm. And that will be in Utah and Ogden. And so um, um, the chariots that come in for this, um, I guess I kind of lost my train of thought there for a moment, but the chariots that come in for this, it is um, kind of a dying art, but they travel so far yeah. and, um, for, to do this. And these horses run on a quarter mile track. And they like to run in the cold. They don't run well in the heat. Yep. And so it is something that you don't see every day. Yep, you don't see it every day. And it's it's just a, a really neat thing uh, to watch. So uh, this Saturday and Sunday, once again, it's out uh, west of Torrington. You just travel on Highway 26 to the Rock Shop. And the Rock Shop's on the right side of the road there. It's easy to see, about a mile, mile and a half mm -hmm. west. You just take a right, and you go about another mile, mile and a half, and and you're there, and uh, it's it's a load of fun. Uh, 12 o'clock to 4 on Saturday, 12 o'clock to 4, 11 o'clock to 3 or 4 on Sunday, and uh, it's a hoot. It's a hoot, and also we will have concessions out there, so if you come, want to come out early and stay late, there's food and beverages and um, fun for everybody. The kids love to watch the horses run. Yeah, and proceeds go to the Lions Club and uh, all the wonderful things that they do over in Toyn. Yeah, so. it's mostly about our kids, but we do have several adults that we've helped over the years too, but it's mostly about those kids needing eye exams. Yeah, all right. Very good. Well, thanks for coming down. Oh, good I'd luck like this weekend. Down. Thank you. All right. Okay, and I'll, I'll probably see you. Uh, I'll drop by once in a while at Classic and watch a bowl, maybe. Oh, that would uh, be since, a pleasure, uh, although it's since not Since my like wife's on your team and, <laughs> and all that stuff, once in a while I'll drop down and say, right, so say hey. That'd be good. Okay, all right. Back to you, Dan.